This is the Realme Free Pro. It can do this. Yeah! Boom! Wait, it's not hot. What? And this, so loud. Very, very clear as well. And this, oh my god. Whoa. How much was this again? Well, it's... No. Well, we're gonna find out that later. It's going to blow your mind. So yeah, keep on watching, stay tuned. But yep, this my friends is the Realme Free Pro. The Pro means it has some Pro features. Features that the Realme Free does not have. Well, starting off with the specs, this thing has a Snapdragon 710 processor. It has up to 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It also has a big battery, 4,045 milliampers with Super VOOC flash charging technology. Yep, that is incredible. All right, so I'm playing Mobile Legends right here and as you can see, the display is just very beautiful. This, my friends, is a 6.3 inch Full HD Plus 1080p display. As you can see, the display is very sharp. The colors are really good. It's way better than the Realme Free. Yeah, if you're coming from that phone, this is gonna be a totally different experience. And also, longer display means you get more screen real estate, which means you can see a lot more of the game right here at the middle, which is a big deal because your hands are already covering the sides of the phone. Sound is also pretty good, very loud. It even has bass. Whoa. Damn, that is so loud. Very, very clear as well. Yeah, this sounds so good. Oh my god. So yeah, back to the gameplay, the graphics. Like I told you guys, the screen actually makes things a lot better. And of course, I'm not feeling any lag at all. Well, it is Mobile Legends and it's not really that heavy. But of course, you can go all the way to high frame rate and high graphics. Boom. Yep, that is the glimpse of the Realme Free Pro. Before I show you the other games that I played here, let me just show you the other Pro features that this phone has. Starting off with the design, the back is made out of plastic. Bummer. But the sides, the body is made out of metal. And thanks to that, the phone actually feels a lot more premium compared to the Realme Free. Yeah, it's very plasticky and feels very cheap compared to the Realme Free Pro. It's not even close. This looks and feels like a much more expensive phone. And of course, you don't get as much smudges as you'll see on the Realme Free. Yeah, now that's something. And take a good look at that gradient back design. It goes all the way from black to purple with that SR effect right there. Yeah, it looks very elegant. And of course, at the back, you also get a much upgraded camera system. That's a 16 megapixel Sony IMX sensor plus a 5 megapixel bokeh sensor. It also has LED flash and of course, the fingerprint scanner, which can unlock your phone in just half a second. Oh my god, that is fast. Holy crap. Yeah, what are the fastest fingerprint scanners I have ever tested? At the bottom, you get some really nice ports, the headphone jack, the microphone, a micro USB with VOO flash charging technology, the speaker, and of course, up there is another noise canceling microphone. All right. And at the front, you get the 25 megapixel selfie camera. Boom. All right. Okay, here's my face. Okay, so it's done. Let's test out the face recognition. Boom. So it does that animation. When I look at it, it unlocks almost instantly. Nice. Okay, so it's really fast. And I think the reason for that is because it has a 25 megapixel main sensor, a way better selfie camera than the 13 megapixel on the Realme Free. Yeah, this is just 13 megapixels, the old one. And of course, you've already noticed the display. It's actually pretty good, right? Well, it is. That high resolution is immediately noticeable. From the icons, from the text, the images, it's a gorgeous looking display. The colors just pop out and the brightness is just incredible. Well, you're, you're still gonna have some trouble under direct sunlight. It's gonna be kind of dim since it's not an AMOLED display. But hey, it's still a great display, just not the best viewing angles. And of course, guys, you were waiting for this 1080p on YouTube. It's almost edge to edge. As you can see, the bezels are pretty thin. Even the chin is pretty thin and it goes all the way to the top. It's a pretty impressive display if you ask me. Definitely a winner. Now, before I show you the other games that I played, let me just show you here the N22 benchmark score that I had. Yep, that is the score, 155,000. It's actually pretty average, but wait till you check this out. Boom, 170,000 points. Yeah, I know, how did I get this? All you need to do is go to game space, it's a super secret feature within the phone. It's a virtual space inside of the phone that boosts all your apps. And right here, I added the NTU2 benchmark. Now, after adding the app, you need to switch to competitive mode. Boom. And now, everything 
is much faster. And that's how I got this score, because it boosted the processor and the graphics. And here we go guys, look at that graphics. Oh my god, that looks so darn good. There's no denying that the Snapdragon 710 processor with the game space boost actually makes this a flagship level device in terms of the performance. This is the same graphics that I'm getting on the Pocophone F1. I'm actually getting almost 60 frames per second right here. Now for those who want to check rules of survival, don't worry about it. It will not lag. If you see this like this on PUBG, that it's not lagging at all, no frame drops, definitely it will not lag on rules of survival. Don't think that there's any phone out there that's actually very cool after playing PUBG at this level of graphics. But one thing's for sure, if you're gonna use the Vuk flash charger, the biggest advantage right here is that it will not heat up while charging. That's the main advantage when you have Vuk on your phone. And yeah, while on the topic of charging, let's charge the phone from 0 to 100. This is Vuk flash charging. 1%, 1%. 1%. <clears throat> 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 50 minutes, 1 hour, and 1 hour and 16 minutes, 98%. We're almost there. And 1 hour and 20 minutes, oh my god, that is just so fast. And check this out, it's not even hot. At only 38 degrees Celsius, it never did heat up. That is the advantage you get on the Vuk flash charger. Now that is awesome. And now, for the cameras. Like I mentioned earlier, this thing has a 16 megapixel Sony IMX519 sensor. And this is the quality you're gonna get for the cameras. I'm zooming way, way in like this. And look how just sharp that picture is. The colors, very natural. Yeah, that's a totally different level already. I don't think the Realme Free can ever have this kind of image. I also noticed that the HDR is very good. Everything is all well balanced out. The highlights are not blown out and the shadows look very detailed. Yep, it looks like it was taken on a DSLR, but it's not. It was taken on the Realme Free Pro. And here are some more photos that I got with the phone. You can actually activate this feature at the top. It's called Chroma Boost. And what it does is that it makes this picture right here look like this. The saturation and contrast was just bumped up. Yeah, I got a lot of samples of that. Here's how they look. Now coming into low light, as you can see, the photos still look pretty sharp, but at the dark areas, you will see some grain and noise everywhere. It's easily fixed by the nightscape mode. Yep, this thing also has a night mode. It's called nightscape. It tremendously improves the low light capabilities of the phone, but yep, it does take quite a while to take some pictures with it. You need to be very steady. It's just right here at the hamburger icon. Right there, Nightscape. Whoa, it even has Expert. Nice, you can control the exposure, the white balance, the autofocusing, and the EV. I'm not really sure what that is. No ISO? I don't think so. Yeah, no ISO. Bummer. And oh, by the way, this thing has slow motion as well, up to 960 frames per second. All right, so here are some sample videos I got with the slow motion. Look at that, look how smooth that is. It's incredible, like for the price, it's crazy how this was all possible with the Realme Free Pro. And it even has 4K. Yeah, that's 4K at 30 frames per second. Now I wanna show you the selfies that I got with the phone. Oh my God, that is the 25 megapixel selfie camera right there. My face looks very sharp, very flattering. Although I do have some lipstick right there because of the default beautification, you can actually turn that off if you want to. But yeah, there's no denying how sharp this is. And even the bokeh effect is pretty good. Look at that. And yep, you can also vlog with this. Here's a sample video. You can actually vlog with the phone, you can. It's a little bit shaky when doing a selfie video. But yeah, that's the quality you're gonna get when using the selfie video. That's, that is the 25 megapixel selfie sensor. So, what do you think guys? Damn, I look pretty foggy. And yep, you can actually do some cinematic footage right here and there. Even in low light, it's pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, I'm in Italy. So yeah, I went there. I went to Rome just for this video. Yeah, things that I do for you guys. I love you. And of course, let's not forget about the connectivity features. It is very important when playing online games. Guys, if you were holding back because the Realme Free sucked because it does not have 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, well, I got good news for you because this, my friends, the Realme Free Pro actually supports 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. <laughs> right, so everything is pretty much on point with the Realme Free Pro. The performance, the cameras, the charging, it is a masterpiece. And yep, we've covered pretty much everything that we need to know about the phone. What's left? It's the price. This thing only costs 12,990. 
Yep, I'm not kidding. Well, at least for the base variant, the 4 gigabytes plus 64, if you want the top end variant, the 6 gigabytes and 128, you can get that for only 14,990. I would actually go for the higher variant because of the double storage. If you're gonna play a lot of games here, you're gonna need a lot of space for your photos, videos, and a lot of stuff. So yeah, go get the 14,990. 6128. Was the price awesome or was it not awesome? Let me know guys in the comments below what you think about the pricing. I would love to know about that. Yeah, let me know. And that's pretty much it for this full review on the Realme Free Pro. Next up, I'm gonna be comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy A50. Yep, that is exciting. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video. All right, so let's see what this thing can actually do. I got here the NBA 2K19. This is a very heavy game, and yeah, as you can see the characters, the model, the, the arena looks so much better now compared to before. There's a lot more stuff going on on the screen, and yeah, the Realme Free Pro actually can handle it very well. Well, it's not the smoothest experience, but of course, you're able to play at this level of quality. See that? Ultra high, high, everything is in max settings.